Hi everyone, Carol Brightville. Google Sites provides a simple and easy way to create a website. One of the most important features that it makes it easy to build your website is the insert menu. I wanted to create a video just to show you everything that is available in this insert menu. And I realized I had to make this a three part video series because there is so much information. So I broke it out by the top part of the menu, the middle content blocks and the bottom 17 items. So let's get started with part three. In case you were wondering what the insert feature is, it allows you to add various types of content to your web page, and you don't have to know how to code. It's anywhere from text, images, videos, links, files, files from your Google Drive, maps, forms, and calendars. Of course, to go to Google Sites, you can go to the URL bar and type sites.google.com but I always like going to the waffle and going to the sites icon. Google Sites is available in a personal Gmail account and a professional Gmail account. It doesn't really have any difference from the paid version and the unpaid version. Mm -hmm. There's a template gallery that you can use one of their existing templates and customize it the way that you want it. I wanted to start with the blank site and I have one that I've already opened. So let's go to the 17 items that are underneath the content blocks starting with collapsible group. When you select the item, it automatically adds it to your page. You can put text at the bottom part and a header text, and then you can collapse the text so that you can't see it. I have some lorem ipsum placeholder text that I'm going to paste in here, and I'm going to give this a header. Now you can see when you open up the text box, all the text that's in here, you can collapse it so it doesn't take up your whole page. You can turn the collapsible text off so it just stays open. The next item is table of contents. I've created a page and I've put text boxes on this page. The top box is formatted with the title header. The next one is formatted with heading and then the next text box is normal text and I've repeated this down the page. It's important to format your type if you want a table of contents, because when you insert the table of contents, it's going to read the title font and the heading font, and that is what it will use to build out your table of contents. If you just use normal text, you won't be able to insert a table of contents. Now let me show you when we view the published site and you have your table of contents, when you click on the link, it will take you down to that text. That's the importance of a table of contents. It's to help you maneuver through a long page to different elements on that page. Third item, image carousel. You have to have more than two images to create an image carousel. And what you can do, you hit the plus and you can upload your images if you've already have images that you wanna put and they're stored locally on your computer, or you can select the image and you can go to your Google Drive, to a link, Google Images, or Photos. I'm just gonna to go to Google Images and I'm gonna search for dogs. And any cute dog that I see, I'm going to put on my image carousel. I'm going to select insert, insert. Now taking this image carousel, you can drag it and make it bigger. You can center it on your page when you come and view the published site. Now you have a nice little carousel image and you can scroll through the images. The fourth item is a button. What a button is, it's a nice little square element on your page that can hyperlink to another page or it can hyperlink to an external website. I'm gonna have this go to an external website. Let me insert this button. Now, when you have the button, you can see it's either, let me drag and make this bigger, it's filled text, it can be outline text, or it can just be plain text. I really like the option of the fill text and in my theme, my custom color, it, this is what I chose by the hex color, so it picked this color. You can take your button and move it into the middle of the page. You can move it to the, over to the right column. You can resize it and make it smaller. You can drag it and make it go all the way across the page. Let's see what this looks like on a website. Let's view the published site, and here's the button. When I click on the button, it will take me right to the website that I want it to go to. The next item is a divider. What a divider does is add a line between elements on your page. 
I added a content block here and I still have my button so I can take this divider and bring it up between the elements on the page. It just gives a nice little organization to your page. Also under the divider is a spacer. So a spacer just adds what exactly what it says. It adds space between elements. Coming down lower where it says social links, clicking this, you can add your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter. When you select the icon to the left, you can easily just go and select and go to Google Images and search Facebook. And you can go and find a Facebook icon right here and it makes it easy for you to put your social elements on your web page if you don't have those icons. Next item is placeholder. A placeholder is exactly what it says. You add it to an area on your web page until you decide what you want to put there. It's a placeholder. It will hold that place. Cloud search will put a search element so that you can search your organizational content. One of my favorite things to be able to insert into a Google site is a YouTube video. When you select this, it's so easy to find a video and you select the video and you just select place it and it places it very nicely within your page. You can take it and make it larger, make it smaller, move it around. Coming down the list, the next item is calendar. This is your Google Calendar. When you select calendar, it will list out all of your calendars. So it doesn't just have to be just one calendar. You have a lot of options to choose from. You can embed one calendar or multiple calendars within your Google web page. I'm going to select one of the calendars and insert it. When you have the calendar and you select the gear, here are different options that you can choose for your calendar. If, to, if you want to share the title, share the date, navigation buttons, show time zone. Here's also another important way to the mode that you want to view. Do you want it to be agenda, month, or week? I like month because when you choose month, it looks like a calendar. Next, we're going to select map. Where map is really good, you can enter your business location, drop a place mark, and now select the map. You can see the nice placeholder where your business is and it's a great way to show your location. The next items, docs, slides, sheets, when you select that will take you to your Google Drive and you can select one of the docs that you have here and insert it and it will insert it very nicely into your page. But one of the things that's very, very important when you're going to insert any of the docs, slides, or sheets you have to go into that doc and you have to change the share settings. When you change the share settings, you want to come to where it says general access and you want to change that to anyone with the link. If you don't change that to anyone with the link, as you share your website, this document will not be viewable unless I have it with anyone with the link. You can insert a sheet and see what that looks like. You can insert a Google slide deck and a Google slide deck looks very nice in a website when you want to insert that. When you publish your site, let's view the published site and you look at that slide, then you can scroll through the different pages that are in that slide deck. The next item is forms. What I really like between a Google site and a form, you can create a Google form that's your contact form and it embeds so beautiful into your website. And it's a great method for someone to use to contact you. And the last item is charts. So when you select the charts, any charts that you've created within a Google Sheet, you can click on that Google Sheet and insert and it will put the chart from that Google Sheet that you created. As you can see, the insert menu is a powerful tool and it allows you to add such a wide variety of content to your Google site, making it so much more useful and engaging for your audience. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. And if you did like my video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great day.